Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York and today was an exciting day, really exciting day. It started out that um, I decided I would put on my Cheer Stars shirt because I used to be a cheerleader in 2009. I was 57, I was the oldest one on the squad and we were Grand National Champions. I actually have my, my Cheer shirt on, there we go. In 2009, I stood up. Oh, did you see that? And we were called the burnouts. I can show you in the back. I don't know. Uh, Jim will have to say whether he sees it in the camera or not. I will. Is the burnout showing? Or do I have to go down? Whoa! Uh, gotta go Almost, back up. Gotta go back up. Uh, yep, it's showing. Okay. Those are the squads. And we were the burnouts. <laughs> <laughs> because we were all older, but I was the oldest one on the squad. And when I was a cheerleader, they wanted me to be a flyer. And I thought, oh, good grief. So I'm a sh I was a short flyer. I didn't do anything dangerous because I don't have very good balance. And my when I would get up high, I would get dizzy. I have, I have inner ear troubles. And we all had to do a stunt. So I, my stunt was a cartwheel. I didn't dare do anything else. So, and somersaults really make me dizzy. And we had a couple of those in our routine, and it was really um, challenging not to not to lose my balance with those somersaults. Was it fun though? It was a blow ball. It was. It was. And one of the girls that was stunting me, my daughter go because my daughter was on that um, with me. She was in her twenties. I think she was yeah, early twenties. Late, late 20s. I don't know. 30s. She was she was pretty old for some of the girls because there was, we had you had to be at least twenty years old to be in it, and so she was older than that. But anyway, she, I was being um, somebody was my base when we were practicing some of the stunts that I had to do, and she said that the one girl was in my daycare, and I go which one, because I didn't recognize her. And she told me that which one it was, and I go, oh my goodness! And when I when I went to the practice the next time, I said to her, I said, why didn't you say something? I looked the same, but you sure did change. She was just a little little tiny girl, and she was one that I remember her. She was she was kind of naughty when she was in my daycare, and I told her that she maybe should sit down until she can be nice again, and when she can be nice, she can get up. So she sat over in an area that was in the corner of my room instead of, most of the kids would sit on the little step. Well, she decided to sit on the, this little desk and she crossed her arms like this and she looked at me and she goes, I'm going to cook you in a stew. And it was just the way she said it. We, um, I burst out laughing and the lady that was working for me, she burst out laughing. It was a really funny, but she was so, and she ended up being a really good kid, but she was so naughty when she was little. Well, today, besides talking about my cheering, I got a package in the mail today from Richard from Keto Mechanic. I'm not going to show the other side, but this is the box that came in the mail. Richard, I will open this. I, I, I did cut the tape, but I haven't pulled it out. Now, Richard gave me, he actually made this. He gave me a beautiful, 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 beautiful blanket. That Gorgeous. He, isn't this pretty? Look at this. And he, well, I'm covering me. Hello, peekaboo. <laughs> Anyways, it's got, it was a fiber, um, polyfiber, I think he called I don't remember what he said. But on the inside, oh, this is, this is, this stuff is really soft. And the, the outside's like a, um, a plush flannel. It's really, it's really beautiful. Look, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. I can't. You will, I will disappear. <clears throat> I will totally disappear. There we are. And it's not even, it's still it's on my lap. This is going to be so, so cozy. I'm cold all the time. So this will really be heavenly. And Richard, it's not shedding at all. So it must be all the shedding is gone. Because he was kind of a little afraid of that. And as far as washing it goes, I will figure out how to wash it. Um, I'm sure I'll do an okay job. 
with it. Then, after the package came, well, before the package came, I had told my husband, I said, guess what? I got a copyright strike. Yes! I happened to go into my, into my videos, and I was watching a video, because I kind of watch other stuff after I'm all done with the videos of everybody commenting. I, I just travel around and look at stuff that I think I might be interested in. And I thought, hmm, I wonder... Because lately, when I post a video, I have to choose whether it's for children, not for children, or, I don't know, there's another button maybe that's content that should be adult-related or something. I don't know. But anyways, for the last three videos, I think it was, when I put the, the word McDonald's in the title, I put them as children because I figure, you know, Maybe kids will will click on it because it says McDonald's. Well, in the one that I did in Vegas, that's the one that got the copyright strike. The music that they played when I came out from behind the curtain, who knew what that song was? I just thought it was a bunch of noisy music or whatever, but apparently it was, a, I, I forgot now what, what the song was. I don't know. I'd have to go back into my copy, I don't know. I'd have to go back into my copyright section because you can click on it and it will tell you what's the problem. And um, it said the music and it was like probably 15 seconds of music. And it said that my strike was not going to hinder anything. It was, it was just music. It just tells me that this video, when if, if and ever I get monetized, this one would be one that I couldn't be monetized on. But otherwise, it's not a big deal, even though it feels like a big deal. Um, there was something else I was going to add to that. Oh, my brain just went. And Jake, you need to stay in your spot. He was walking. I heard his toes. Oh, he's been walking around. He's been walking around. Oh, I haven't been focusing on him. <laughs> He's going to have that's to go in his right. house if he's naughty. He better stay put. He went back to bed. Uh, that's good, because he should. Um, I don't know what else I was going to say. Oh, shucks. I forgot. And it went, it just came in my brain and went just out the same, Like it's like in one ear and out the other. <laughs> like with the kids, when you tell them something. Um, I think that was, was that it? I better stop the camera so I can think. I'll stop it. Stop the button. I can't remember, but I do have it. Now it's time. It was, there was a light there when I was talking. Okay. Right. <laughs> but I can't right. remember. I'll just say it again. I can't remember what I was thinking of, but I have another question. Like when you're posting your videos, what do you click on? Um, do you click on for... Um, made for children or not made for children or oh good heavens I, I think it's going to get even more confusing than not so from now on I will just I think mine are just going to be made for adults no children children go away shoo shoo <laughs> shoo shoo but I love children but I love children I know you know they should have a they should have one that says family for 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 everybody for there's no age group restriction restriction on it they should have that maybe i should write that in my comment thing because i don't know if you've gotten where they ask questions of what you think they should do or shouldn't do to improve youtube well i do get those once in a while where they want it's like a survey and then they have a question at the very end of what would you like to see well i'd like to see a something that other than just black and white I want a gray section <laughs> I don't know if I'll get a gray section but I'd like to get a gray section where you can say this is good for kids and it's good for adults too it's good for everybody it's like like the movies when they when they um, grade them they're either general or PG, PG or PG 13 or R or X or double X or triple X or whatever but I would be uh, just a general 
I would be general. They should have it like the movies, yeah, where you could put it there so that this way they know that your videos are okay for everybody. And um, as far as music goes, don't use any music in your videos unless it, you know it's royal free because I used and it was like very short seconds of it. So that one is, is kind of, oh well, that one's, that one's there. And I was watching a video too to see if you can get rid of it. Oh, I know what it was. I remembered. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I remembered. I, I, because I was looking to see how you can remove that strike from you. That you could take um, the class, take a class online, um, copyright class, a copyright thing. You watch a video and they've got questions there and you answer the questions and then it says congratulations you've passed and, and then you can click on your um, channel and it will show you the little section where it's got the, the sad face, sad face, sad face, happy face. Mm. and and tells whether you're in good standing or not. And mine was still on and said I was in good standing again. So even though that will not disappear, I think it will be there for at least 90 days. And then I don't know. We'll see what happens after 90 days. I'll let you know if it goes away. But I hope to never, ever get another one. It's like getting a parking ticket. And I never had one of those. Or a speeding okay. ticket. I never had one of those either. Or a bad report of some sort i've never had one of those and you know this is this will this is like when you have um um kids that are obsessive compulsive or um add or attention deficit disorder or something you know like when the teacher yells at you and all you can think about is everybody's thinking about that i just got yelled at when they don't think about it anymore so it's gone but in your mind it's still there and it stays there for a long long time because you can't seem to you're obsessed with it you just can't get rid of it well that's the way this will feel for a while until I forget about it let's hope I can forget yeah, I, hope. I hope so okay well that's it for today and Richard thank you so much for I'm, I'm actually got it on my lap it's it's so nice and it's warm. I'm actually feeling very nice with it on my legs. My legs, I sometimes stand in front of the heater just to warm my legs. And now I'll just throw this on top of me. Or I'll wrap up in it instead of wear my crazy sweater. So I thank you very much. And that was Richard from Keto Mechanic. Is that his full name? Mm -hmm. The Keto Mechanic? Give me my book. I will look, see, make sure. Hmm, I think that, and it used to, it used to have... It used to have more. Keto mechanic fat, fuel by fat. fat. It used to be, but it it's, be. yeah, it I changed. Still... I'll look for the T's. L M N O P. Oh, you have to know your alphabet. <laughs> L M N O P Q R S T. L M N O P. There we are. P Q R S T. There's our class for the day. Okay. <laughs> the keto mechanic. I've still got it. Oh no, this is this is old, so it's still. Mm -mm. I don't. It just. It's, I've got it still. Keto mechanic fueled by fat home, but I don't think it is. Give me the my iPad, an iPad. Now we're gonna look it up in the iPad because that will show it better. Because um, it will have the the new. Oh, Correct. why does why doesn't it want to slide? It's like it's like it don't want to go anywhere. Oh, this one says I'm not working. Give me the other one I plugged in. And this, oh, it, wait a minute, it just did it. See, it gave me my numbers. I can, I can sign in. I'll sign in, okay. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we might have to, we might have to um, edit this section. Oh, come on. It doesn't like my fingers. There it is, the keto mechanic. Electronics. I know. I love them. They don't love me. Okay, it is still keto mechanic fueled by fat home. It still is. Look at that. I got it still right in my book. Because I know like sometimes somebody will change their name and then I will put a notation by it to say that it used to be and then I put them in the new area. 
Oh, it makes it confusing. So please don't change your names. <laughs> it makes it confusing. Um, some of the names are easier because it's in less like um, like the Animal Papa channel. I think it was Animal Papa. I think it was. He took the out, which was good. That the was a pain in the neck. It didn't belong there. Yeah, Animal Papa. He, he changed, he took the the out. Because there's a lot of channels that start with the. And when I'm thinking of the channel, I'm not thinking the. I'm thinking just their name. Like, I can give you an example. Okay. Like, the little white house. That's Eric. I'm, I'm, look at that, Eric. I, I just mentioned you. I just think little white house. Mm-hmm. That's what I think of. So, the word the gets in the way. And another one that I think of, and I don't think the word the in front of it, is Haskins Family Vlog. There I go, Amber. I just mentioned you too. Oh my goodness. I will put these links in for these people so that you can find them. Um, because now that I've mentioned them, I probably should put them in. Sure. And so, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this crazy all over the place kind of talk but this is this is me and if Thank I you. and if I finished a sentence you've got it's all the better because <laughs> I, I notice I don't finish sentences I start to say something and think you should know what I'm talking about so I don't need to finish it so that's it for today I'll talk to you tomorrow bye